everyone. Today, uh, uh, the tutorial is about uh, how to deploy uh, Flask app or Python based applications on the cPanel based hosting. So, we have a number of options to deploy Python based apps like uh, Python Everywhere. I found it, it very simple and very straightforward. But most of the people who are already developing the apps on PHP or uh, uh, <coughs> Ruby Rails, they use to deploy their apps on uh, cPanel based interfaces. So let's try to figure it out how we can deploy a Flask app on uh, uh, cPanel using cPanel. So this is a very simple uh, Flask app that is uh, I'm running. It has only one route index and uh, there is a uh, one render html page index and i am passing only one node that is welcome to the tutorial so in index i have a simple html template and using ginger2 i am just having the variable welcome printing so let's see the output of the this like th this is the output welcome to the tutorial and this is working on my local host now i want this app to be deployed uh, on uh, uh, some hosting website that has the support of cPanel. So I'm using Namecheap web hosting, and this is uh, one of the famous and uh, reasonable prices that are offering to the clients. So this is your main dashboard. From the dashboard, you come uh, first. You have to create a, a domain. So from the dashboard you can click the cPanel when you click the cPanel here is the cPanel from the cPanel you just have to find the subdomain so this is the subdomain so when you come to subdomain so this is uh, these are the domains i have already created for my different apps like uh, this app is running on python and this all other apps are using for some mobile based applications or uh, php or a lot of frameworks <coughs> so uh, I want to create something uh, for Flask Python. So I let's I have already created tutorial. This is uh, like I'm going to test. So after this, once my cPanel uh, uh, my subdomain is created, now I come again to my cPanel, and uh, here I have to find a setup Python app. <coughs> so when I create uh, setup Python app. So it will take just a few seconds. So uh, this is my already uh, app that I have created. So uh, either I can show you what things I have to show you, but uh, for the security reasons, I'm just creating a new app. When you create a new app, so the first thing is you have to select the what version of the Python you prefer to work. Well, uh, based on my experience, you should sell always select the latest version of the python and flask is very stable with the latest versions so i select uh, the version 3.7.3 that is available for this name chip uh, hosting after that where my web directory is in on my uh, file manager so as you know that on a cpanel we have a file manager this is uh, my file manager so here I can make any uh, folder so far see uh, there are so many folders but I will keep uh, the name of the folder uh, where is that here for example uh, uh, my app though there is no folder with this name already on my uh, uh, file manager but it will create if it is not already already exist after this I will have to select the domain so I want it, it be, uh, to deploy this on tutorial dot whatever is my domain this is something very tricky it took a uh, <coughs> uh, little time to figure it out application startup file so what is the name of the file that uh, uh, I want to deploy so the simplest deployment I have is uh, this one uh, downloads on downloads I have a learning environment flask and flask is route 1 so this is the, my file application.py 
So what I have in application.py is very simple. I'm importing Flask and render template. After that, uh, this is the name of my app, app Flask name. And I have only one route and the route is rendering the index.html file with the not welcome to the tutorial. And in uh, index.html, I'm only displaying that variable I have passed using ginger2, welcome not, okay? So this is the very, very simple app that I'm going to deploy. So <coughs> what is the name of the file that has my uh, configuration and import file is application.py. So here I will mention the startup file is application.py. And what is this is another very tricky thing, not a tricky, the simple thing that you only have to know. Application entry point, and here is the application entry point is app. Uh, this took a lot of time to me to figure it out what I have to put there. So I have to put app. That's all. So if there is anything happen and uh, you want to see what uh, why my website is crashed or what error my website is pushing, so here you need to put the log file. So the log file should be ideally on the same folder that I have kept, uh, made my app. So you will say my app. There is log.txt. <coughs> After this, if you need to create some any environment variables, I think we don't need any environment variable for this. And now we have to create a create. So it will take few minutes and error is used my app spelling directory already used uh, it it says that i already have this folder name my app oh yes uh, some of my colleague is making a project on this so let's change uh, and keep it my app too and directory is and now create again so the app the green button is a very good button here when you see the green it means everything is done your app is up and running but still it is not yet connected because I haven't uploaded my uh, scripts so we come to the, the file manager and we find the folder my app 2 can you see so let me let me refresh i click on this and then i will refresh so let's find out if there is my app 2 here there is a folder my app 2 which is this this interface is not yet refreshed. So my app two. So we are inside the folder my app two. You can see <coughs> we have uh, application.py. We have to replace this with my application.py, and uh, I will upload and I will say override existing select file uh, it is on downloads and then web python flask route one and this is my file <coughs> so it is uploaded what is the second file i have to upload i have to create a folder with the name templates Tem create new folder the folder is created and inside the folder inside the folder we have to upload the index dot reload or upload is index dot so that's all I created a website using 
Python and I uploaded my file but still the website is not working and the reason is for example if I, I try to open so something is terribly wrong why I'm running a flask app and still I have not installed the flask so usually when we are using uh, our own local host we, we just do pip install flask and all the plugins of the flask but here we have to install the, uh, the same way but we don't have the command line interface for uh, pip install so what we have to do we have to freeze the requirement.txt for in case I think I have already created and requirement.txt so there is only one thing I'm installing flask and I'm installing flask scripts and flask SQL chemi in my future lectures I will be uh, uh, giving little talk on how do we connect our flask with the database MySQL or Postgres or any flavor of DBMS and so this is a simple files I need to install so here I will say uh, the name of the file is requirement.txt and I say add or and then on the same cPanel on the same folder I have to upload the requirement.txt file that's all downloads requirements.txt it is uploaded now I come back here and I will say run requirement.txt oh this is successfully installed my flask is successfully installed I will say save after save I will open again and here is my website is deployed on tutorial.mydomain welcome to the tutorial I hope you enjoyed this.